Hi, Jim Van Zandt, one of the pastors at Carlisle United Methodist Church with Sermon in Three Minutes. Thanks for tuning in this week. You know, last Sunday was the fourth Sunday of Advent here, and we've been talking about the birth of Jesus, and it's the season to do that. I'm sure you're aware the story of the birth of Jesus really begins in the Old Testament with some of the Old Testament prophecies about a coming Messiah. You know, one of the things we share with our Jewish brothers and sisters is the Old Testament, although they have a different arrangement of the books of the Old Testament. The first five are the same, in the same order, but from then there's a pattern that develops, and what you notice in that pattern is that the voice of God becomes more and more distant and less frequent. And in fact, two of the books, uh, Esther and Song of Solomon, the name of God isn't even heard. All of that is to create a holy longing or an anticipation for the Messiah of God, the one who's going to set everything right. People have asked, well, why did Jesus come into the world when he did? Your fact might be that Messianic hopes were never higher in Israel than at that time. That's because things had gotten, in a sense, so bad and they had so little hope, the hope for the Messiah started to increase. That, in a nutshell, is the reason why Matthew's Gospel is first in the Gospel of the New Testament, to show how Jesus is the fulfillment of that messianic prophecy that is all throughout the Old Testament. And in fact, it, his story is the one story of the birth of Jesus that really emphasizes that, that Joseph, the father of Jesus, was to name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. And that's what the New Testament is about. It's about God with us. Jesus is, is God with us. And, and when God got close to people, the, the blind saw, the deaf heard, the, the lame began to walk. It was just a normal course of business in God's kingdom. And in fact, the New Testament is about how lives are changed because people knew that God was with them, was right there with them. The story hasn't changed for you and I today through the Holy Spirit. God is with us. If you ever felt deserted in your life, you never were. God was with you. If you've ever fallen down in your life and felt like you're the only one who could pick yourself up, not true. God was with you. If the last person you've ever known has walked out on your life, God is with you. That's something we want to celebrate and emphasize during this Christmas season for you. Remember, the babe in the manger is God with you and with me and with all of us. Have a great Christmas.